<laughs> What's good with y'all, man? So guys, listen, how to become irresistible to women. Now guys, I'm assuming that we understand the basics. Now, what I mean by the basics, I'm talking about, bro, you got to look good, right? I'm assuming that we, we already covered the looks money status thing. Now, I'm not saying you got to be the best looking dude, the most handsome dude, but be well put together, dress good, dress nice, you know, nice outfit, man. You've been in the gym. You looking at least, at the very least, decent, bro. At least you're looking decent, right? Your pockets is on time. And obviously that means that you on your grind, you're not broke out here. You're not broke as a joke. You you got something going for yourself, right? All right. I'm assuming you're well put together because this ain't no, you know, basic stuff, guys. What I'm talking about here is essentially about mastering your energy, bro, because that's what it really is. Now, a lot of y'all be like, well, you know, because because a lot of these guys can have the basics. Why are there still rich simps? You know what I'm saying? Because these guys still do not, they lack the basis, not the basic, the basis of attracting women. So women can be, they can't be irresistible to them without being rich. But guess what? Not all of us are rich, at least not yet, you know, fellas. So guys, with your energy, man, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Become irresistible to women. Now, what I want to I want to break this down. I want to break this down. I think that the the best way I want you guys to think to a day, right? Where everything, like I mentioned this before, but everything was just coming together for you, right? Now, when I think of this day for myself, and maybe you guys can agree on this, I think of a day where you know I, I wake up, I hit the ground running. Right. I'm really just focused on myself, accomplishing all the tasks that I have set to do. Right. And that includes meditation. That includes uh, eating the right foods. That includes, you know, uh, uh, working out the stress, you know, in the gym or something that includes actually doing, you know, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. With breaks in between or whatever the case is. But overall, a completely successful day. And that might include a getting a haircut. That might include, you know, picking out a new shirt or something. Hey, you know, just taking a trip, you know, getting your car clean, handling just errands. It could be anything, but you set out to do what you had to do that day. Now, the reason why this has to do with your energy, guys, is because you're not going to feel at 100% confidence in yourself, right? This chick's not going to see you and she's not going to be irresistibly attracted to you Unless you feel yourself, you are irresistible. You feel irresistible from the start when you've accomplished what you set out to do. As men, we are wired this way. So that's why I want to kick it off that way. Hey, bro, you had a successful day where you just completed all the tasks you had set out or you just really, you can be proud of yourself because you good, you, you brought, you gave good effort to it, right? You gave great effort to it. You gave 110%. You didn't quit. You kept going. You did what you had to do, right? You wanted to quit halfway at a workout, bro. You stayed in and you got it done. You know it was a trash workout where you had to go back and you had to make sure that you really felt like it was a good workout. Like the whole day though, I'm saying the whole day. Now, when you step out here and you like talk to women, I want you guys to realize something. As you're walking to that bar, as you're walking to the club, as you're walking to the party, as you're going to this event, as you're getting dressed, to head out somewhere, to head out to dinner. I want you guys to really feel that, yo, man. You know, I, I, I'm really that dude. I got Guys, you got to first solidify the stuff with yourself. And I'm telling you, this is stuff that I do. This is stuff that I do, so I'm not going to steer you wrong. Now, what I do, guys, I get in the mind state of attracting things, right? And this is as far as my energy. Now, there's, there's two ways energy flows. We know this, right? It flows outward. And it also flows inward. I am so like focused on guys. You got to be so focused on just the well-being of keeping your energy at the top, at the top. And, and it comes from yourself. It, it comes from yourself. It's all about you, bro. You got to be selfish with your energy. It's all about you. It's all about you. So when you're putting yourself together, bro, you looking nice, right? Your pockets is already right. You hit the gym. You look good. Like, like we've already covered that, right? As you're going out here, guys, and you interacting with women, 
they're going to feel this off of you. But now it's not just women out here, it's also other people. There's gonna be hating dudes out there, right? There's gonna be other people, cock blockers, it's gonna be, man, all kinds of people. It might be people that had beef with you from th four or five years ago, you ain't never seen, you ain't seen them in years, and they come back, oh, hey, well, and you don't even wanna talk to them. I'm like, well, who is this person talking to me? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that, you gotta be able to block that. So the energy outflow, you block it. The energy from them flowing into you, you block that too. You got to block it both ways from people that you don't want taking, because you always got to keep in mind, you want to keep your energy at peak. Your energy is out when it's at peak. When your energy is at peak, you are irresistible. And it's to people really in general, because it's like they want a piece of your energy. Guys, I'm not joking with this. It's like they all want to be around you. It's like they all want to just interact. Have you ever just had a, a night or a day where you were out and about and it was like, bro, I'm just attracting all this. Like, you get free drinks. You might have got a free uh, appetizer. People just smiling at you. They so nice and stuff. You can't even figure out why. You just going about your business. You minding your own business. You just focused. This is that energy that we're trying to we're, we're trying to master. We're trying to lock in. And I can really key in on the times where I knew that it was at a max, and the times where I just knew that everything was flowing and everything was just. It was just smooth, bro. It was just smooth. Whether it was chicks, whether it was, you know, bouncers at a club, whatever, it doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. You were just on point, bro. You were on point. When it comes to irresistibility with these women, right? Let's take it to the next level. That energy that you have, you got to remember, like, you got to actually feel yourself that, hey, she want a piece of this. Psych yourself out. If you don't believe in yourself, you got to psych yourself out. You got to psych yourself out. Because you've already laid, guys, you've already laid down the groundwork. You've already did what you had to do that day, or you're just on point in general, right? So you should feel good about yourself. That's why all these people is, you know, trying to get a piece of your energy. The women the same way. They're the same way, bro. But what it is with the women, this is the trick that you do. It's like a give and take. It's like a bait and you pull it away. So right now you walk into a spot and a girl might, you know, smile at you or something. Girl might start talking to you. You know what I'm saying? She might press up on you. Girls will press up on you with their breasts or something. They do that on purpose to entice you. They're trying to get some of that energy so they got to have some kind of physical contact, right? So, you know, let's say a girl is coming up to you. She's talking to you and she press up on you a little bit. You kind of like, you know, you, you make it aware, right? You kind of look like, oh, hey, you, you aware of it, right? And you kind of like back off, right? Because she was feeling good with that pull it away from her, right? You pull it away from her. That makes her want to, okay, she comes in closer to you more now, right? That's that irresistibility factor. That's that irresistibility factor. And that's just like in a situation, bro. So the way you apply this, guys, really across the board is as soon as that happens, one girl sees it, another girl sees it. Now this girl sees that, oh, women are attracted to you. That's going to start attracting more women, right? That attracts more women. When women see that you have something that other girl wants, she's going to want that too, right? So it's going to just trickle down. It's going to trickle down, but you got to be patient with it. You kind of got to let things unfold. I noticed that the best times, you know, the, the most common times that this happens is like I said, when everything is just done well, you feel good about yourself completely because well, the thing is, you're not going to just let your energy be taken from anybody, right? It doesn't even matter if it's a bad chick. If it's a bad chick, right, you should be coming off as, hey, I'm used to these bad chicks. Matter of fact, all these women want me. That's the energy that you come out with. All these women want me, but they can't have me. That's that give and take. All these women want my energy. They want my seed. They want to suck my meat, but they can't. You know what I'm saying? You got to really like, you got to really think to yourself that, you know, really, even if I was able to sleep with all these women, would I, would I want to sleep with all these women? Would I want to? Now, some of y'all are like, oh, hell yeah, I want to get it. But really though, I'm trying to get you guys in the, in the, in the mastering of your energy, bro. Cause it's like, as soon as you do that, then yeah, you're going to have the draws coming at you, bro. You'll have the draws coming at you. It's like letting a chick know, Hey, you know what I'm saying? I know you find me attractive. I'm attracted to you too, but you know, I might let you have sex with me. I might let you suck my dick. And then she's like, you, you, you won't let me. No, I'm going to suck it when I, it's like, it's like a girl, you know, you're, you're kind of using reverse psychology 
with your energy, bro. You're using reverse psychology with your energy. That's that push pull. That's that give take. You know what I'm saying? That's why when a girl press up on you, you kind of just acknowledge it. You know, oh, you know, breasts on your arm or something. Or maybe she push her boobs all up in your fucking face or something. And you just like, damn, where, where all this come from? Didn't you say you had a boyfriend? Oh, but he's not here. He's long distance away. And, and oh, what are you doing? Like, come on. These girls know what they want. They want your energy. That's that irresistibility. When you irresistible, bro, they want your energy. Like, it's not... Like girls are going to make a point to talk to you. They're gonna make a point to come at you, right? It's gonna be a domino effect. That's how it works. But you always gotta remember the basis, you gotta have that covered. But more importantly than that, that boost of yourself, you gotta keep it, you gotta maintain it. it the most important thing I think is maintaining the peak of your energy and not letting it go. Cause you'll be feeling good as soon as you get out, but then some people dap you up. You shouldn't adapt them up, right? Or because you don't mess with them. You gave your energy out, even when you dapped them up. It's really that simple, guys. Or maybe you were hanging around somebody, you just entertaining somebody. You knew you should you didn't want to talk to them, and you know you did you should have just left, but you stayed anyway. No, you gotta no cut that. You gotta hold all your energy in. You gotta hold it all in. And then the chicks will start coming. Oh, I want a piece of energy too. And how you nah, nah, I'm cool. You hold on to that. Another girl seen you reject her. Oh, no, I'm going to get him. That's how it works, guys. That's how it works. You got to be at the peak. You got to keep it there. Do not hand your energy out. Be very, very selective with it. And these girls will know, especially when you already got the outward appearance going and you got things going for yourself. Your pocket's right. Bro, you Gucci. You Gucci. Right. And I just need you guys to stay upbeat with that kind of energy. You're like you're, you're not going to be you're not you're, like it's already a given that you're not giving off needy energy that you're not, you know, trying to chase. You feel me? That's that's not a part of your vocabulary. When you are at your peak, you just got to keep it there. Women are going to find you irresistible. They're going to want your energy, bro. They're going to want it. So you got to be careful. Mm -hmm.